Today we're going to do a little bit of fixing up on the Newell, a few different things. Uh, first thing would be gluing my rear view mirror back on. You can see that one over there, the bottom portion on the other side uh, fell off. Like it fell and the only thing holding it on there were the wires that like heat it. And I just taped it back on at a truck stop in Arkansas, uh, actually when I was on the way back from like buying this thing. And I'm just now getting to fixing it. Not totally sure, but the uh, correct way to do it is correct way. I'm just gonna use hot glue because I have hot glue and from my experience it works pretty well for that stuff. Probably better than like silicone on top of silicone anyway. So there's that and we're gonna try out the old power ball. We're gonna try this white diamond stuff. It uh, it says on here it's for like polishing aluminum but works great on discolored headlights. I tested it on my driver's side front headlight over there and it did make a big difference. So we're gonna do it on the other headlight and we're gonna try it on these tail lights too because they're also kind of faded. You can see there, it's just a little faded. The reverse ones are kind of turning yellow. That's not gonna be able to be reversed but it maybe won't be as dull looking those ones need to be replaced, but I think the red ones can be saved. Maybe we'll even try it on the Duramax, see how it does that, because those eBay headlights are kind of turning yellow also, which is stupid, because they're like two years old, but China, you know. So I gotta get an extension cord, plug it into an outlet in my storage bay, and get the hot glue going to heat it up. You can see what I'm talking about pretty clear here. It's just like black like silica pretty simple and it's got like this piece of aluminum i don't know if this is original or not honestly it could be i have no clue but i'm just gonna clean this up better and re-glue it on there how it was and if it doesn't work then these old reliable heater wires will keep it from falling off again but here's what i was saying about these headlights that's the one i did that's the one we're gonna do Not terrible, but it ain't good either. Even the corner one's kind of clouded up. But you can see here, it is much better. And this was just a real quickie. I didn't even take them out. You can see they're still freaking compounded here. And this whole bottom balance is another story. I gotta, I'm probably gonna rewrap that with gloss black because it's all faded and chipped and just looks terrible. Honestly, like, I don't know if you notice, but when I take pictures of this thing and I post them, I do not use the front. Because if you ask me, the front is the worst looking part of this whole thing. The whole coach, bus, whatever the heck you want to call it. Stand right here. Nothing about this looks cool. It's boring. You got boring yellow rectangular headlight. There's a big freaking chunk falling out of the middle there. The bottom is all faded, chipped, and dull. Like, the mirrors, they're just old mirrors. Like, I'd really like to put the new uh, stacked type mirrors on there, where they got the main one on the bottom, and the smaller, uh, you know, wide angle one up top. Man, I gotta, I'm gonna cut out a decal, put it there so it says dual, like it's supposed to, and do something, because this is just, just a bunch of black. I don't like it. Any need LEDs up there. Maybe even rewrap some of that silver because it's all faded up top too. The problem was the old guy that had this before me, he had it under a port, like a carport. Well, it was a 40 foot long enclosure. So the back like little bit and the front little bit stuck out and you can definitely tell. It's okay though. We're going to get it fixed up. I'm gonna take this back in the shop, clean this up. <laughs> all I do. This is all the setup is right here. I did my wheels the same way. They came out pretty good. I mean, they're not perfect. They're also not clean right now. But literally, that was just a quick just not no sandpaper, nothing. Just put the stuff on a rag, wipe it on there. Get him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gotta do it. I'm gonna use the cone for this one. So I can get into the nooks and crannies a little better because on this side I had a hard time getting the ball down into these like corners and that was actually before I bought this little cone one so 
let's get at her. So I'm basically just gonna take one of these and not have everything blow away. Oh, you're supposed to shake this. Put a little bit on there. Nah, it's messy. Then you just kinda just get some on there. I'll maybe put a little more on. Just just a little more on. I'm not a huge moron. going to be a little black crud on here, it's remnants from the aluminum on the wheels, but you know, whatever, wipe it off. Now that's just one pass, just one pass, that's it. Look how much different that is, I mean there's a little haze on here from the stuff I wipe, but not making that much of a difference like that's a huge improvement over what was just there and this clip is three minutes and 13 seconds long from the beginning of when I hit the button before you'll ever even see the finished product it's that fast insane so I'm gonna hit this other one go a couple more over here get a little better something to note here with this when you're working with the cone is that the area that you're against with the tip is not going to be as deep of a polish as the base because the speed from here is not the same as here this is going to get much more material coming over the, the contact patch you know like a pulley or a bigger tire you're going to go faster the speed from the shaft is going to be multiplied by the bigger size of this foam ball so the big ball works even better for stuff like wheels but in tight areas, you know, all you can use is a tiny part, so is what it is. But just keep that in mind whenever you're doing it, otherwise you'll be uneven if you go, if you kind of move it linearly like that, the sweep is not, you're gonna have a much more better finished product at the backside where the base is than the tip. It's not gonna be a perfect rectangular path. I just knocked those out real quick, and they're about the same. I think they could get better, if I spent more time on them. I think you can even tell right there I spent more time on this one than that one. Looks a little better. But for now, and the demonstrated purpose of this video, die. Let's go see what this stuff does on the tail lights. It observes the finish on this light here. Okay. Yeah. Not good. You can't see that one well enough. We'll work with this one because you got the light here and you can see the sheen off the shop lights. Let's hit it and see what it does. So I switched to the big ball here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Damn it. Anyway, I switched to the big ball and not even, this must have taken all of 30 seconds. Check this out. Look at that. It looks like a new freaking light insane like honestly i didn't expect that to come out that well that i may not even have to replace these now because of this i still want to do them with leds but like if i couldn't get leds then i was going to read like retro like find new ones of these old these truck lights but I, like these these are fine uh i lathered up the other ones so we can see how they come out I'm really interested to see how this comes out because this looks terrible right now. Do no memento. Let's see what it does though. Well, this is just pretty cool. This just made my day right here. Like, man, these came out really nice. Man, it was that easy. And this one, lost cause. Didn't really do anything but make the credit color shinier. Looks terrible still. Gonna have to replace that. Some people actually replace these with like the 4x6 freaking LED headlights. So whenever you put it in reverse, it is bright as balls. Like literally turning headlights on as your reverse lights. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about. Like they put them in old cars and whatnot. They're like Jeeps and it's just like LEDs like that. Yeah, that's what they put in there. I might try that. Uh, obviously I got some, you know, collateral damage splatter. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold up on these ones and go over to gluing that mirror back on before all of the natural light is completely gone. That is all for today. Uh, 
I ran over the driver's side and the passenger side taillights same way it came out just as nice looks great apologize for the wind I glued the rear view mirror back on so that's all good we'll see if it falls off tomorrow hopefully not but yeah hopefully you learned something I really like that white diamond stuff it it, it did really well like on the wheels and like how cool is that you get one thing and you can fix up your wheels and your headlights like I didn't even know that it would do the headlights and I bought that too I went and bought it on Amazon they didn't give it to me I'm not getting paid to say that that's a real honest review hit that subscribe button we're making videos about it all the time now including uh, going to make videos about other noodles Prevos stuff like that uh, I'm in Dallas right now where I'm based out of these days and there's all kinds of crazy stuff around here like the marathon uh, headquarters for Texas is like really right up the road I could walk there uh, motorhomes Texas is a couple hours away uh, Emerald luxury coach is a couple hours away national indoor RV centers based out of here uh, motorhome specialist is here like all kinds of cool stuff and the more I look into it the more awesome stuff that I'm finding that I want to go check out. So first stop is probably going to be Motorhomes of Texas and we'll see what they got. I'm going to drive this thing down there and just check it out.